All right, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rukar Kadash. They get double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me the truth according to the Bible. And Shalom to all the birds out there throughout the four corners of earth, pushing this word in all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. It's Brother Kazapa from GMS Raleigh, North Carolina. Come back with another quick lesson. Do the spirit prayer, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And, um, you know, just in the spirit, like I said, I'm doing a little series. Um, you know, of going into the Psalms, okay, which are uh, songs or prayers, okay, unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, you know, by King David, uh, you know, our king under Lord Yahweh Shai, okay, who uh, Lord's will be a part of the elect of the nation of Israel, aka also known the remnant, aka also known as the house of David, okay, that we receive the mercies of David, okay, because David was, um, King David was definitely praying unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. At all times, okay, you know, you know, uh, giving up his supplications unto the heavenly Father, the Dude's only begotten Son. All right, you know. So let's go ahead. Um, this uh, chapter is pretty short, but I'll go ahead um and read this. Okay, this is the um, book of uh Psalms chapter five, uh verse one, and it reads: it says, "Give ear to my words, O Yahweh." Okay, see. Within this, this is um, this is so simple, all right. But it's so heavy. Okay, we want the Lord to give ear. All right, he want we want him to give his ear unto the words that we are crying unto him. Okay, all right. Which that actually, when you get into to giving ear, all right, let's let's get this on word give real fast. When someone gives you something, okay, what are they actually doing? Is a give is a verb, okay. So this is an action that we would want Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai to perform towards us, okay. It says to give, to bestow, to deliver to one, to a lot, to grant, okay. We want the Lord to grant His ear, okay. You know, when somebody grants you something, that means they don't have to. They're giving their um themselves, uh, so so to speak, to to you, okay. All right, we want, he says, commit, devote, and trust, okay? It says, um, to give some more, uh, to give, it says, to give, to cause, to have, I said, in the abstract sense or a physical sense, it says to be cause or the source of, um, to transfer the possession of something concrete or abstract to somebody, okay? So we want Yahweh Bashim Shai to give unto us, all right, his ear. You know, like we are the woman of the Lord, so what does a woman want for them from their husband? His attention, okay? All right? So we want the Lord's attention in this time, okay? So going back, it says, Give ear to my words, O Yahweh Bashim Shai, okay? Consider my meditation. So we want the Lord to consider our meditation. Now, we remember, if you've been um, in the spirit, just watching, you know, my videos, you know, we always go back to Psalms 1 and 1, okay? All right, what is our meditation, all right? This is Psalms 1 and 1. It says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. And the counsel is the, what, the, the advice of the ungodly. Who's the ungodly? Esau, Edom. The so-called white man and two-thirds of our people and heathen nations. Okay, we don't walk in their advice. Right? It's nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight, or his pleasure, okay, is in the law of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And, and in his law do he meditate day and night. So our our meditation is the scriptures. Okay, so we're asking Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to consider that we are meditating upon his word. Okay. So not only to give ear to us, that to see that we're actually putting an effort, okay, into pleasing Him, okay. So now going back, this is a uh, Psalms uh, five and two. It says, "Hearken unto the voice of my cry," okay. And this is where we want in these times, especially, okay, to cry unto Yahweh by Shema Shai, who the Word He calls God in Jesus Christ, okay, and for Him to hear us, okay, to hearken, to take heed unto our cry actually hear because remember two-thirds is going to give a cry out that the lord is not going to hear okay 
Lords will be part of the elect of the nation of Israel, okay? All right? As the Lord takes heed to our cries, okay? You know, this is um the book of Jeremiah 11 and 11. It says, Therefore, thus saith Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, Behold, I will bring evil upon them. Who's that them? Two thirds of the nation of, of Israel, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says, Which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. Okay, so those that are to cry unto our power, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, all right, they're, the Lord's not going to hear them. The Lord's not going to hearken unto them. Okay, which we want the opposite of that. Okay, we want Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai to hearken unto our cries. That's why brothers right now, all right, are getting right with Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, fearing the Lord. Okay, while we still can. Scriptures talk about seek ye me, ye shall live, right? You know, doesn't the scripture say that? Yeah. Okay. Let's get it. This is Amos 5 and 4. For thus save Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai unto the house of Israel to so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay. It says, seek ye me and ye shall live. Okay. So seek ye Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai and you're going to live. Okay. All right. And when we just went into a lesson that seek means to diligently search for. Okay. To diligently look towards. Okay. You know, so Lord's will we be a part of the elected nation of Israel that we do so these things so we can receive the salvation to come. Okay, but this is what we what the elect is gonna be wanting in these times. All right, because King David needed these things, all right, and the the the, the remnant, okay, uh the elect of the nation of Israel are also gonna want these things. The house of David, okay. Now let's get I'm read that again. This is Psalms five and two. Hearken unto the hearken unto the voice of my cry my king and my power all right it says for unto thee will i pray all right unto who yahweh bahashim yahweh shai bahashim or karkadash okay that's who we're going to pray to lords will be a part of the elect the elect that will cry upon those holy names man okay it says my voice shalt thou hear in the morning O yahweh in the morning will i direct my prayer unto thee and look up okay you know, Lord's will be a part of the elect, you know, amen, to that we pray to Yahweh by Shema Shai day and night. We said that, or it says in um, Psalms 1 and 1, that our meditation, all right, is on him day and night, okay? Thinking about Yahweh by Shema Shai, praying to the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, okay? Every day of the moment, every moment of the day, <laughs> so to speak, you know? You know, it says, um, it says, so I can me go ahead. Yep. It says for uh yep, verse four it says, For thou art not a power that hath pleasure in wickedness. See, our Lord is not like Esau, okay? Esau, Edom, the so called white man, who actually loves wickedness and do do all this uh chaotic stuff, okay? You know, the Lord doesn't take pleasure in wickedness, all right? It says It says, Neither shall evil dwell with thee okay so those that are evil those that are, are are wicked the lord is not going to dwell with them it says the foolish shall not stand in thy sight thou hatest all workers of iniquity thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing now the word leasing actually goes into lies okay when a man speaks lies all right it doesn't come out the scriptures okay it, the scriptures tell you that um matter of fact let's get it i believe it's um an isaiah No might and then I believe so. I believe it's in Isaiah. Yep, yep, this is Isaiah eight and twenty. It says to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word. It is because there is no light in them. Okay. All right. So if they're not speaking according to the scriptures, it's because there is no light in them. Okay. You know, so just showing you that what anyone that's coming saying that they you know, know the Lord and that they love the Lord, but they're not coming out of the scriptures. There's no light in them. And who ultimately, who's that light? Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay. With war ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right. All right. So going back, you know, it says what? The Lord hates liars, okay? 
if you're not speaking the truth, there is no light in you. Okay, it says the Lord abhorred the bloody and deceitful man, which is Esau, Edom, so-called white man. But our people have taken up this this spirit, this mantle, so to speak. And the Lord hates that. Okay, but it says, but as for me, I will come into thy house and the multitude of thy mercies. Lords will be a party of the elect. You know, the you know, King David was anointed to be king. Okay, the Lord had anointed him. Lords will be a part of the elect. The elect are anointed. All right, are sanctioned from the beginning of and foundations of the earth to what to be in the house of Yahweh by Shemuel All right, to receive the multitude of mercies that the Lord is going to bring. Okay, Lords will be a part of that number. It says, and in thy fear will I worship toward thy holy temple. All right, what within what the fear of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, it says, lead me, O Yahweh. See, that's what we want ultimately. We want the Lord to lead us, okay? Because remember, Israel, okay, we're, we're, that, we're, we're that woman to the Lord, all right? But two-thirds of our, our people are still harlots, okay? You know, the elect of the nation of Israel is getting themselves right for, you know, that, that wedding, okay? And what does a woman do? She, what, um, takes um, after her man, okay? What, for him to lead her. So we're looking to Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, who's our man, so to speak, okay, all right, to lead us, okay? He's the one that's going to lead us, because the scriptures tell you that he's going to be a guide unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Let's get that. It says, uh, let's see, get that. There's the book of Second Ezra, chapter 16. And and see, even just getting in this understanding of these scriptures, okay? All right, it's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Brothers is not doing this of their own, you know? For brothers to remember these scriptures and, and link these up, this is all the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai that dwells within brothers, okay? This is, um, this is 2nd Ezra 16 and uh, 74. It says, Hear, O ye, my beloved, okay? What? The house of David, Dawada. Okay, it says, Say if Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. And that's what we want to receive. But to receive that, you have to be uh, um, serving Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, in sincerity and truth. Okay, and allowing the Lord to lead you, not being stubborn, okay, but being humble. And, and and coming back to Yahweh by Shem Shai, repenting, repentance, all right, especially um through your, what through your actions, okay. It says, "Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide." Now, when you look at the word guide, is the word guide actually goes into what someone who leads you leads you, okay, through uncharted territory. Now, the troubles ahead. As scriptures say, Jacob's trouble is like going to be no time other. The Lord is going to actually guide his elect through the troubling times. Okay? It says, And a guide to them who keep my commandments and precepts, save Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, to the best of their ability. Okay? Keep the law, such commandments to the best of their ability. And, and what else? It says, let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. So they're going to be keeping the law, such commandments to the best of their ability. And right now, the main law that we're keeping is the law of faith believing and trusting in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai as the scripture said in Proverbs to trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to thy own understanding okay let's get that scripture it's Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 and it reads it says trust in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai with all thy heart alright with all your being Trust in the Lord. It says, and lean not unto thy own understanding and all thy ways and all your actions, the way you conduct yourself on this planet. It says, acknowledge him. Okay. So by the way you act on this earth, it should be acknowledged that what you are serving of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, that you meditate upon his word day and night. Okay. It says, and he shall direct thy path. The Lord is going to lead you. Okay. All right. The Lord shall lead you. Okay. It says, be not wise in thy own eyes, fear Yahweh by Shem Shai, and depart from evil. Okay, so these are the things that we need to be doing, all right, 
to be for Yahweh Shimshah to be our guide and our protection for him to deliver us from the troubles to come. Okay. Now finishing up Psalms five. I believe I was just at the last couple verses. Uh Psalms five and uh yeah, just at the last couple verses. It says, um, yep. It says, lead me, O Yah, uh, verse 8. It says, lead me, O Yahweh, by Shemal Shai, right in thy righteousness because of my enemies. Make thy way straight before my face. Okay, it says, for there is no faithfulness in their mouth, but these people, the, the wicked people. Okay, all right. Two thirds of the nation of Israel, Esau, Edom, the heathen nations. There's no faithfulness in their mouth it says their inward parts are very are is very wickedness their throat is an open sepulcher meaning they speak lies cause people to stumble cause people to die through do deceit it says they flatter with their tongue destroy that them O yahweh let them fall by their own counsels by their own advice okay there are her saying peace peace is coming but the scriptures say mischief and destruction is coming let's get that you see what the scriptures say is actually coming. Okay. <clears throat> this is the book of Ezekiel. Chapter 7. Verse 25. Matter of fact, let's start at verse 5. Let's see what's really coming according to the scriptures. It says what? It says, this is Ezekiel 7 and 5. It says, Thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, in evil, and only evil, behold, is coming. Now the word evil meaning Ill, eve meaning time and ill meaning bad. So only bad times is coming. Okay. You know, we're telling you the truth. Okay, but what else is coming? Scriptures tell you, verse 25. This is, uh, yep, this is Ezekiel 7 and 25. It said, destruction cometh, not peace, but destruction cometh, okay, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. It says, mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they seek the vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priest and the council that the, the advice what from the ancients so the, from those that should know better okay are right, from those that call themselves israelites okay for those that you know call themselves leaders of the other people all right that that counsel that advice is going to perish from them because they're not going to know what to do and you're going to try to seek the men of the lord but guess what it's going to be too late so this is why we need to seek yahweh bashim al shai now while he's still able to be found that you may live okay all right going back this book of uh, Psalms, chapter 5, verse, uh, verse 10, it says, Destroy thou them, O Yahweh by Shemal Shai, let them fall by their own counsels, cast them out in the, in the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against thee, which scriptures tell you rebellion is a sin of witchcraft. So this is ultimately what brothers be praying. That the Lord have mercy on his elect, Lord's will be part of that number, and that the Lord destroy two thirds of our people who are constantly going off in rebellion uh, against him. Okay? It says, But let but let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. That's what we want. We want the Lord to defend us, right? It says, Let them also that love thy name. Showing you that the name of the Lord is very important. Yahweh, all right, the true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai, the true name of the Lord, and He calls Jesus Christ. It says, Be joyful in thee, thou, thou, for thou, O Yahweh, will bless the righteous with favor that will compass him as with a shield. And that's what we want. We want the protection from Yahweh by Shemel Shai, especially in these times. Okay? You know? So, you just want to go ahead and get that just in the spirit, man. You know? Showing, showing forth that what well, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is on our side, man. We have nothing to worry about as long as we keep on pushing towards, you know, being more humble, being more um, um, submissive unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai's will, okay, what the Lord wants, then hey, everything else is going to fall in line. So, with that, hopefully, this is edifying to the elected nation of Israel. You know, hey, you know, first and foremost, I'd give all praise, honor, and glory to you. 
Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, or Karkadash. I give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well and tell me the truth according to the Bible. And shall want all the brothers out there throughout the full conserve, pushing the spirit of narration and sincerity. Keep on pushing, keep on believing, keep the faith. All right, keep that prayer. Hey, with that, until next time, to the left, you say Shalom.